Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video. And in this video, I want to show you the some of the Excel formula like the count if, sum if, or average if is something how you can achieve it within Power BI with the help of the functions that is Power BI specific or DAX specific. So since it is it is commonly being requested from the Excel users who are coming from the Excel and uh, joining the Power BI. They look for this information and I thought why not create a video, one single video where you can find all of this information. Well, with that, um, let me show you and uh, just a quick information before I actually show you how you can achieve this, which is quite straightforward. Uh, this sheet, which is a live Google sheet, the link of this sheet is present in the Google, uh, sorry, the, the description. So link of this Google sheet is present in the description. That means you can come to the sheet, search any of my previously posted videos and jump onto that using the link present in column B. And since it is a live sheet, it will always have all of my future video as well. So all my historical videos and future videos will be present in just one single sheet through which you can search, jump onto that using the link present in the column B. All right, with that, let me go to the Power BI. Okay. So here we are in the Power BI and very quickly I will just create a table. As you can see I clicked on the table within the orders table. I will simply bring in the subcategory, product subcategory and uh, the order ID which is where we will take the count of order ID. So we are just looking at how many product we have or how many orders are there in the each for the each subcategory. So what I will going to take is simply count or count distinct or count up to us. What do we want to take? So simply I will going to take a count for now. Okay. So we have these this count now and if I increase the uh, increase the size and I'm using the most latest version of Power BI where this formatting is changed uh, earlier. If you remember it is coming down below here, but now it is at the top. Okay, so here for the column headers, I will, let's say, increase this to 14 and uh, maybe make it bold. For values, let's make it 10. So you can easily see this. Okay. So here is, uh, let me put it in a center. So we have subcategory and we have order ID. Now this is the order ID count for all of the product. What if we want to look at a specific customer category? That is where the count if, sum if, or average if com comes into the picture. Here we are using the count. So we want to take a count of let's say home office customer or, or a specific type of customer. So what are the customer categories? Let me show you. So we have the segments actually, customer segment over here. If I just bring it. So you have consumer, corporate and home office right so what if if you want to look at just consumer count against the overall count so that becomes your formula like get the count of uh, all the subcategory if it is a, a consumer right so for that what you will going to do is click on the new measure and you will say that consumer orders right and here we will going to use the function calculate and we will going to count the order, right? The order ID, that's the one which we have been using. Count of order ID, comma. Here we will going to use the filter. So this is your if condition, right? So in the filter, you will going to specify the table, which is the orders table, as you can see. Uh, there you go, orders table. And comma, the filter condition. So filter condition is what? Segment equals to in double quotes you will going to put the consumer right close this close calculate and here is our count if condition consumer orders if so this table is selected i come here in the fields and add the consumer orders over here so out of 775 488 is consumer orders so four out of 466, 244 is your uh, consumer order, so on and so forth. 
and hit here it is your total so this is your overall total this is your consumer order total so that's how you can specify the 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 um the uh category the if condition uh, and get the count if similarly very simple you just change the formula here and if you are using the sum function and let's say sales order of sales what you get is the sum if sum if the segment is consumer so you get the sum of sales for this similarly as you would expect instead of sum you will going to use the average of order sales to get the average if so here is your average of uh, order sales so all of these three conditions you can achieve it just with the simply use of calculate and the filter condition so with that uh, uh, that is what the topic of uh, this video is and i've showed you all the three condition let me know if you have any more question in the next section i will going to show you from count if sum if average if to sum if s count if s or average if s that means the multiple conditions thank you